Hey everyone, it's Shaw from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. Our theme this week is leaves and pine cones. In our sensory bin, we have brown dyed rice. We have some um, leaves, some fabric leaves in different colors. We have some pine cones, and of course we have some scoops and containers. On our easel, we will be taking leaf sponges applying paint to them, and then stamping them to make a fall tree. One of the activities we have on our activity table is this really fun acorn threading toy that I got on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And then they have to push it through the acorn, and they pull it, and they find another hole to push it through, and pull it, and they keep doing it, and they can go in reverse, going the other way, to take it out again. I love it because it's attached, so this can't get separated. I love the quality of it, and it's a fun table activity to do during our fall theme. I also have these fun leaf counting cards that I made. I will put a um, link to this printable as well of all of, as well as all of my printables in the description and it goes from one to 10, and the children can put them in numerical order. And they can also count the leaves that are on each card. Another activity that we have is something that one of my co-teachers made a few years ago, and basically she just took some construction paper and she just hand drew these so that they were with the blocks and same color, and then she laminated it. She actually has um, four different ones with four different shapes. But since our featured shape for November is the rectangle, they are going to put the rectangles on the drawn rectangles and they can count as they do stuff. So, and this is a great table activity and it's also a great small group activity where they can count as they put the pieces on, and it's also a really, really good one-to-one -one correspondence activity as they're putting one block in each space. And this activity that I have out, this is a Melissa and Doug puzzle that we actually use um, when we assess the children on um, their knowledge of shapes. But for today, for this week, I just have this out as just a simple um, activity for them to do. I love these puzzles because you can take these pieces out and you can use them for other things as well. You can also use it for color recognition. What color is the heart? What color is the triangle? We um, actually get, this is puzzle gets probably used more than most of our other puzzles in our entire preschool. I can't say enough about it for working on shape recognition and also for when you're assessing them. When I was at the bookstore, I saw a series of these types of books that are also puzzles, and I thought, how fun would this be for our children? But the reason why I'm taking these out this week has nothing to do with leaves or pine cones, but our children have been showing a huge interest in tools. We have a tool bench outside, a play one, and they all have been wanting to use it. So I thought, I'm gonna bring this out. And it's like a puzzle in a book. So they have to put the pieces out and put them in. And I think that this is going to be a huge success because they're interested in it. And also because they have to think about where the pieces go. And then you just go through and each page shows how the tools are used to fix different things. And I love it because it's really sturdy too. So these are the types of things that we do at our table. I get asked a lot what we do during our table activities and this is an example. Not everything has to be theme related. In fact, quite a few, few of our activities aren't. Also, while I have you here at the table, I will show you that these are 
three printables that I'm including in this because um, I know some of you are going to be talking about what you're thankful for. So I'm going to put links to these printables in the description. This one is I am thankful for and then the children can tell you five things they're thankful for and you can write them in here. They can even use it. They can color it. This is a fun um, sheet that you can put in their portfolio or their memory book. Something fun and special for them to take home for Thanksgiving. Also, what color is your leaf? This is another printable that I have. We have been using this on our writing table. We've used it for art activities. We used it with Dua Dots. And then these are some more leaf printables. They're smaller. And what I'm thinking I might use these for is for their thankful leaves that we're gonna be putting on our thankful tree. So as the children tell me what they're thankful for, I will have them color them and then I'll write what they're thankful for and then I'm going to make a tree that it can go on. So these, the link to these three printables, you can find this in the description. Over on our light table, I kind of put together this really fun sensory bag. And what I did was I took a Ziploc freezer bag. I like to use the freezer bags because they're thicker. And then I put some liquid dishwashing soap in there. I put some sequins of different fall colors. And I also put some fabric leaves in here of different colors. And they can come over and they can press it and they can watch what happens. I just love the colors and this is going to go with what we are talking about this week when we go outside and we notice the different colors of the leaves that are on the ground and the children are going to bring be bringing in their own leaves and then we will also compare them to these colors and then I also put um, some of these leaves here as well these are just simple tissue paper leaves that I had purchased a while back and then I just put contact paper to um, protect them a little bit but you can also laminate them or whatever and then I just have a little um, sign here that says fall colors and then we have a, some of our burlap leaves that are, I like to use the plexiglass page holders for displaying things like that. One of the activities that we're going to be doing this week is called What Color Is Your Leaf? We're going to do it two ways. We're going to use these leaf cards that I made, again, the link to the printable is in the description. I printed these on cardstock so they're sturdy. You could also laminate them. And then I also made a page, one for brown and green and red and yellow. So they're just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide these around the room and during circle time, they're going to find them and as they find each leaf, they're gonna put it on the matching page. I love doing this type of, these type of activities for circle time because, you know, especially with our two-year-olds, they don't want to sit that long. So getting them up and moving, it's a great hands-on way. They're learning about the different colors of the leaves, they're learning color recognition, and they're getting to move. How I'm also going to use this activity is, I've asked the children to bring in some leaves from their walks at home, and they're going to come in with their leaf, um, leaf and they're going to put it on the matching color. Now, a lot of leaves have different colors, so they're going to have to determine what is it mostly? Is it mostly brown, mostly green, mostly red, mostly yellow? So these are two ways that you can use this activity. And again, all of these, the link to these printables are in the description. Another activity that we have, this is using the same printable that I just showed you for circle time, but this is an independent activity. So I made two copies. One copy I kept intact and the other ones I separated. So they'll just simply, it's just a matching activity that they can do. And this is really um, very simple for our toddlers. I printed this on cardstock, but you can also laminate them to make them more durable. One of our science activities this week is going to be sorting pine cones from small to large. And my co-teacher came up with this um, and it's just very simple. Just a sorting activity. We're always working on ways where we can do some size discrimination, and so this is a fun way to do it with the pinecone theme. Our dramatic play area is super simple. We just have some cute little um, handmade leaf plates mats, and we have some leaves that are scattered, and then we have some harvest fruits and vegetables and some wooden bowls that actually are left over from the last two weeks in our classroom. And then we just have some simple juggling scarves 
um, in fall colors that are in a basket. We're still keeping things really simple in our dramatic play area because our children have been wanting to just take everything out. So we step back, we scale back a little bit. I keep saying that this year about this section, but that's the reality of it. So I just want to be honest and show you our reality. And so right now this area has been very, very simple. The books that we will be reading this week are It's Fall, The Leaves on the Trees, The Leaves Are Falling One by One, and Leaf Man. One of our writing activities is going to be working on left to right progression. And I love to have super simple activities where the children are learning how to take a writing tool or even their finger to go from left to right because this is what they will do when they write they will go from left to right and when they read they will go from left to right and so they can take their finger or we have these dry erase markers where they can go across and I have two different pages this one's a little bit easier and then we work a little bit more on the more challenging curves on this one so I'm just kind of working on it. And then I have, I just have them, I keep a baby wipe and they can just wipe it clean like that. And I, while I love to laminate, there are times when I don't want to laminate because it might be something I know I'm not going to keep or I don't have time to laminate or whatever. If you don't have the C-Line um, plastic pockets they are amazing i love them they're so sturdy we've had these for many years and i just slip the paper inside it and then rather than making a whole bunch of copies where they do it and then it um that goes into their cubbies or whatever that's fine but there are times when i just want one copy where we can just do it erase it somebody else can do it and erase it this would be a really fun activity if you're watching as a parent to do at home, to keep different activities in these pockets so that when you want some quiet time, the children can do some work and then they can use the baby wipe. And this is also a great activity that you can do in the car, a nice travel activity. But I just wanted to kind of show you this because I show you a lot of things we laminate, but this is an alternative to laminating. And I'll put the link to these pouches in the description. So this is what we're going to be doing this week for our leaf and pine cone theme in our two and three year old classroom. Thanks for watching.